Hey y'all, I'm back. It's um, been a while since I've done a video and I've been making lots of crafts but I always forget to videotape. So today, I remembered I'm going to videotape uh, while I make some concrete. Let me show you some of the bolts I eat. Sandcastles. Uh, little seahorses and such and then we're going to sand them so they look like sand. I personally am making these for my garden but you could do these little things would be awesome um, paperweights because they will be heavy. Um, the, the sand castles I have thought of several things, maybe drilling holes in the concrete after it's complete and putting spikes for picture holders if you're on the beach, like I am, I'm not on the beach, but I live really close to the beach. So of course my theme throughout is beach, I love the beach. So well, let's get started. Okay, here we go. Now, I have this huge bucket. Wait, let me fix this. I have this big bucket that I got from the Dollar Tree. And inside I have quick creek, fast, what did it say, fast setting concrete. Now this one has a lot of bigger rocks in it. I don't know if they're all that way because, to be honest, this is the first time I bought concrete. But the big rocks make it kind of hard with these little molds. So you may want to try something else. I just saw that this was fast setting. I like everything. Hurry up. I don't want to wait. So this is what I personally got. So we're just going to start out with the concrete add some water and since it is quick setting I make it a little runnier than you think you would want it to be so that I have time to fill all of my molds I also don't I don't make up more than I think I'm going to need because I don't want to have to try to figure out what to do with that extra concrete. So I make it in small batches and then if I don't have enough, I'll make another quick batch because you can see it's really quick. Like if I fill this little bucket, it might take most of what I have here. So I'm going to start with these little babies. Got a little alligator. Maybe you have an LSU fan. Um, I don't know. Florida. Florida Gators or something. That this might be a perfect one for them. Let me turn off that air. That AC came on right at the wrong time. went I don't even remember if I got them at Walmart Dollar General Family Dollar whatever somewhere uh, somewhere that they weren't very expensive and I got the kids the little kids um, sand toy sets and I have a granddaughter from out of state that's gonna be coming in a couple weeks and I thought well, I could go ahead and make some molds with these and then put all of this up for when she comes and we go down to the beach. She'll have all these beach toys. So, here we 
we go. So I bought two different sets. I tried to look into them and see what uh, what molds were in there, but it was kind of hard, kind of hard to look through the package. So I just got what I got. To me, the gator, the alligator, and the dinosaur. They don't really have anything to do with the beach, but they're still cute. And honestly, I thought they might be really cute painted. I'm going to sand everything so they can go out of my garden, but I'm going to show you. I mean, that's what I'm going to show you is them sanding. But after they dry and you pop them out, you might come up with all kinds of ideas. If you watch my channel much, you'll see that I love color. So of course I looked at these and thought, oh, a turquoise seahorse, a red dinosaur. How cute could they be? Glitter them up, maybe put some little eyes on them, some little googly eyes. Or if you're really good at painting, which I'm not, let's just be honest. If you're good at freehand painting, you could paint on some little eyes. Well, I take that back. I will tell you, if you're not good at, at freehand, but you can copy, I'm gonna to try to put up my video later today of my little flower pot person. At least I think I took a video when I made her. Um, I freehanded her eyes, and if you don't look at it too close and get real critical, I thought I did a pretty good job. And what I did was I pulled up just images of eyes. I just uh, put in cartoon eyes, and I pulled it up, and I found a pair that I thought were cute. And turns out, if you look at them and you look at mine that I put on my little girl, they look nothing alike. But it, I just used it for inspiration and it uh, it really got me there. I, th I think she came out really cute. And that's really what matters, right? As long as you like it when you're finished. Now I'm gonna tell you, these little, little pieces like this, like the water spout, I don't think, yeah, his water spout didn't come out when I made him before and the tail snapped off the turtle he just went to pieces all his feet fell off um, but I tried to take them out of the mold too early like I said I don't I don't like to wait I'm like a two-year-old I want to hurry up hurry up let's go are we there yet let's do it so um, I, I tried to take them out of the mold too early and those little parts. The other ones, they came out of the molds early and then I set them out to dry, to finish drying outside of their molds. They came out fine, but the turtle, in fact, one of the dinosaurs, their horns broke off. But I did find them just now when I got these molds back out to do this video. The horns popped out of the mold. So I'm gonna glue them on. I've gotten some new, it's like super glue, but it's, what's it, super good, uh, gorilla super glue that really works like a gorilla. They don't sponsor me or anything. It's just, it's a really good glue. Oop. Let me try to wet the glue down. not want to rinse this down your drain so I get a, uh, a container that I don't really care about like this one from the dollar store and if you can you can go outside and rinse it off you know try to get most of the concrete out when you're down to your last little bit 
while it's still wet, you can take a paper towel and wipe it. And then, of course, I don't have enough. Let me make another batch real quick. And then after you've wiped most of it out with paper towel, take it outside and give it a quick rinse and you can use it again. But if it's a container you really don't care about, just throw it in the trash. Done. The thing is, this bag of concrete just I keep making and making and it won't run out. So I'm trying to keep my container to be able to use it again. This is really watery. Let me add another scoop. You don't want to have your head too close, your face too close when you're putting it in the bucket or stirring it because that, that concrete dust goes up and gets in your face and your nose. Can't be good for you. Can't be good for your lungs. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Just about perfect. You'd think I'd done this before. Now it would be really cute to put this little shovel in there. Let it harden. But, and you also could snap off the handles and then glue them to it to make a little bucket of sand. But I'm uh, saving these for my grandbaby to use, so I'm not going to do that. Let me wash my hands off real quick. Wipe them down. Oh no, I need to make another batch. Okay, before this dries, let me do this. I made these little hands. To put in my garden with some bird seed and this finger broke off before they got dry so I'm going to repair that while I have this concrete out and my little whale that I was talking about I'm going to repair his tail so simple to do if you have one of these well it'd be good if this wasn't so wet If you have one of these projects and they, and they do break like this one did, yeah. you can just patch it up. let it dry and it's just like it was new. And I think on the finger I'm just going to glue it. Okay, so I'm going to set all those aside so they can dry. This time I'm going to let them dry all the way. Now, it does take about a week for these little babies to dry. Well, I would say about three days for the little ones. For the big, these big things, at least a week. And I learned after I had already done my first set that if you water them daily, it helps to keep them from falling apart. So right now we're getting a little bit of rain. I don't want to put mine out till they cure up a little bit. But you can just set your molds outside every day. Go shoot a little bit of water over them. But then the sun will come dry it up. 
and just repeat every day. So here are four of my molds that I did previously that are completely dry. Now, voila, they are sandy masterpieces. Look at this little seahorse, my favorite. This is the little guy, his horns broke off and I just found them, so I'm going to take the, that uh, Gorilla Glue, stick them back on and then shoot them again with the sand. Now, they have little imperfections all along the way, but I think once you put the sand on them, it, it pretty well fixes it. But like I said, you could put little eyes on them, little squiggly eyes or something. You could paint them, you know, like a multicolored paint, paint this yellow and this green and that red. I could see a lot of cool things, but like I said, they're going for my garden. So I'm just gonna leave them like sand. I'm gonna put them by the sand castles. But this is how I made them look like sand. Let me see if I can get a, get a good shot of it. It's Rust-Oleum Multicolored Textured. And it looks kind of like this. So I gave them two coats yesterday. And I think uh, it did a pretty good job. Aren't they cute? Cute and kind of worthless. Unless, like I say, you want to, you live at the beach or you know someone that loves the beach, they would be awesome paperweights if anyone uses those anymore. Or just a little shelf sitter, a little shelf decoration. If you do the tiered trays, um, I made this one just for, uh, This is from things from the dollar store. But I made it just to hold things like this when I'm displaying them for my store. Um, if you're interested in buying things that uh, I'll tell you when I'm putting them in my store, these are probably not going to go in my store because they're so, they're so heavy, you know, that no one's going to want to pay what my time was and the weight of the shipping. So I don't know what I'll do with the extra ones. I may give them to neighbors or something. But you could put them on here if you're going to display. Anyway, my, my shop is myprettypartyshop.com. Or I sell on eBay and my name on there is Boutique of Art. And it's mostly party supplies, personalized party supplies for party themes that you can't find. So you could set it up like this and take a little picture. That's what that's about. Oh, and then you can put your little beach garland. I have one of those too somewhere. Oh, what would you say this is it? You could put a little garland across there and your seahorse. So I've made a bunch of garlands. I might do that video next. I wanted to do a garlands video. I wanted to do a video of all things roach clips, making roach clips, roach clips, um, Bible markers. I've just been doing so much lately. The beads have been my uh, my big thing. But like I said, I live at the beach, so. It's kind of a live and let live attitude here where I live. And roach clips are a big deal. So um, I started making them just because I like the beads and the beading part of it. And yeah, I got into it. So anyway, I'll show y'all those. I'll show y'all making those and the bead garlands. Oh, and I've made some adorable, adorable little gnome jar houses I have one of them in my eBay shop right now 
another one sitting on the counter that I haven't um, posted yet. Maybe I'll do a video about those. Anyway, here are here's the the last of these. Okay, I think these have been made about a week ago, but you see how it's still dark, like it may not be ready to come out. But I was gonna say, okay, the suction on these is really great because there's no hole. And I don't wanna drill a hole in case I reuse the mold because you see how the mold is, uh, the concrete is really thin and runny. It's gonna run right out and make a big mess. So what I figured out works best is I loosen it around the edges like this and I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out. If it, if it breaks, it breaks. I can fix it. So what works best for me is to slam it like this. Well, there. Boop, boop. See, there's little imperfections. Like, this didn't come out great. Yada, yada, little holes. But once you once you hit them with the sand, I don't know why this one came out. Oh, I guess I didn't fill it all the way because there's nothing left in here. But once I hit it with the, the spray sand, it'll be good to go. And yes, it still feels a little damp. So, here's one of these that I've already taken out. It had imperfections too. And my plan is when this gets done, this bucket, I'm gonna flip that over and it fits perfectly on the bottom. It's big for this side, but but for the bottom, it'll fit perfectly and be a nice tall sand castle. I'll have a tall one, a couple small ones, and I can put some of my little sand animals by it. That's the plan anyway. Okay, so there you go. There's some ideas. And there's so, so many ideas that you can do with concrete. Um, like these hands. Uh, I'm not going to do a video about it. I should have done it while I was making them, but I'm really over it. I've already made several of them. I need to fix that. Um, Look how cute that is. You could put a little, like the succulents, if you're into the succulents, which I'm not, but I like plants that flower. Flower, I want flowers or I want something I could eat. If I can't eat it and it doesn't flower, then yeah, not for me. But that doesn't, that doesn't mean you couldn't use this for bird seed. Um, just for a decoration, just set it there, set it there in your um, garden. There. <laughs> there we go. Um, but anyway, there are videos all over about those. I think there are videos. Well, I know they are on Pinterest. That's where I got it from. And you just, pretty much you take, you take gloves like the latex gloves that you can get at the dollar store. You can get a whole box of a hundred for like three bucks. And you put the edges over a jar, bowl, whatever, fill it up with concrete, shake it down into the fingers, twist it up. Then you lay, the trick is to make them curve like that, you lay it in a bowl. You lay them so that they'll curve up like this. And you see, mine has a divot in the center. That's because I put a, I filled a balloon with water and put it on there to try to help smooth that out. Well, it ended up leaving that. I should have made it a bigger balloon but I'm still happy with them in fact I think I'll sand them once you put the sand on it it hides all that stuff it hides all your little boo-boos so boo-boo on see you next time bye bye